What's up guys, welcome to your 11th Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to use multiple tests in the Java program. Now, in the last tutorial, I showed you guys how to test the one thing, such as if, um, let's say, apples was less than 3, then do something. Well, there's actually a way to, in your if condition, test many tests in the same condition. So, let me go ahead and demonstra do -do -do, demonstrate this point. Let's go ahead and make a simple dating website. So we need two variables, int boy and int girl. And let's go ahead, boy set them to 18. Nice young buck as myself. And girl set her equal to 68. Should be an old cougar. So let's go ahead and make a simple um, if statement. And in the test condition, as I told you guys before, we learned how to test one thing. So if boy is greater than 10, we would execute a certain block of code. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, system uh, out print line. And if he's older than 10, we'll put a uh, you can enter since we can grant him permission. Else, if he's less than 10, then what do we want to do? Um, let's just copy this, save us some time. Copy and paste there we go um, you are too young so let's go ahead and run this real quick and make sure everything's working and since boy is greater than 10 it says you can enter so that's what I taught you guys last time how to do one test in an if statement but there's a way where you can do multiple tests in the same condition now say you wanted to make sure that the boy is greater than 10 and the girl is less than um, 60 since we don't want any uh, senior citizens on our site no offense but this <laughs> this is a site for younger people only so what we would do is use something called the double ampersand and this stands for and and whenever you use this that means that either test on either side of this has to be true for this to be true so for example if boy is greater than 10 and girl is less than 60 which is false you want to print you can enter else print you are young and again here's what and means whenever you have this little double ampersand and that's a little uh, symbol above the 7 on your keyboard this test has to be true and this test has to be true for this piece of code to execute if either one of these are false or if they're both false then this code is never going to execute so let's go ahead and change this to you can not enter so if the boy is greater than 10 which is true and the girl is less than 60 which is false 68 print this you can enter so it's not going to print that it's going to print this you cannot enter so let's go ahead and run this and as you can see you cannot enter so let's go ahead and what if we change this to the girl was within the age limits 40 and we ran that baby again it would now say you can enter so that is how you use something called uh, multiple tests in the and sign to make sure that two tests are true so you can execute a certain block of code but there's also another neat thing besides the and and that's called the or and to do that you use two little um, pipe signs and that's the key above your enter when you press shift it's a uh, I think it's called a pipe it's like a pipe or pipeline or something but here's what this means two little pipes this means or and what or means is either this has to be true or this has to be true only one of these have to be true to execute this first statement if they're both false then it's gonna just skip that and go to this so let's go ahead and in another point in the or statement this one has to be true or this one has to be true or they both can be true such as right now so let's go ahead and uh, change this to girl equals 99 so only this one is true but this one is false using the or thing you can enter should show up should show up so let's go ahead and we ran it and it said you can enter and let me show you guys what happens if both of them are true um it should do the same thing girl equals 44 um run it again it says you can enter but again the only way that this is not gonna work is if both of them are false 
So let's say if the boy was 8 and the girl was 99, it would say, you cannot enter. So again, to recap one last time, if you want to do multiple tests in Java, there's two things you can use, an and sign, and what this does is make sure both the tests on either side are true, and if it's not true, it does the else. And you can also use the or sign. And unlike the and where both of them has to be true, the or sign makes sure only one of them has to be true. But if both of them are true, then oh well, it still works. So that is how you can use a multiple test in your Java program using the double ampersand and double, double pipes to test either and and or. So if you have any questions or if this is confusing at all, then uh, you can just send me a message and uh, hopefully I can clear things up for you. But I try to make it real self-explanatory for you. So um, that's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned how to do multiple tests and make a simple dating program. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next tutorial.